That's funny. I call straight people. I'm not doing it. Stop. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you wrote these? Yeah! <laughs> God, it reminds me of my grandma's soup. Stop stealing my shoes. Are you ready for the video? Are you ready for the video? I mean... Hey, hey, paparazzi, paparazzi, paparazzi. Hello, everyone. Okay, Michael and I are going on an adventure today. Oh, and we're going right now. We are going to a place called Eugene, Oregon. This is a city in Oregon that maybe some of you have heard about, some of you maybe have not heard about. It is home of the Oregon Ducks. And for those of you who watch football, ball foot, foot ball, ball foot, we are doing a project with Hyatt. It's called Hyatt Loves Local, and we are going to be exploring one of our local areas. Hey everyone, just wanna take a second to talk about Hyatt Loves Local. Beginning last year, over 100 Hyatt hotels and resorts started to provide complimentary resources and exposure to a lot of local businesses around the world. And especially minority and female owned businesses, as a lot of us know, these were the businesses that were hardest hit during the pandemic. So this weekend we had a staycation with Hyatt Place Eugene in order to check out their collaboration with a local winery called Iris Vineyards. A special thank you to Hyatt and Hyatt Place Eugene for hosting us. Eugene is local to us. It's just a, an hour and a half, two hours away from Portland. And we actually have never like done a trip there together, ever. Driven through. We've driven through and I'm very familiar with the city from like growing up around here and in the Willamette Valley. So it's gonna be really cool experiencing it like a tourist and seeing the restaurants, the bars, the breweries. It's a cool city. I think like if I could sum up the city in one word, it would be Hipsters hippie. Paradise. <laughs> a hipster. Hipsters, hippie. It's honestly a little bit like San Francisco in the way of like that 1960s free spirit. Because a lot of people moved up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you go straight north from San Francisco, you hit Eugene after like eight hours. It's nestled right at the base of the Willamette Valley and it's kind of like around where the coastal range meets the Cascade Range. So you are in a prime area for beautiful hikes no matter what direction you go. So very excited and you get to come along on the adventure with us. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop being annoying. Um, we'll see you in Eugene, bye. Are we here? We're here. <laughs> We're here. You made it. We made it. That wasn't for you. <gasps> Take it away from me. Take it away. You would never. Come on in. Welcome home. For the home. weekend. My gosh, so comfy. Woo. This is cute. This is Patio. nicer than our bedroom. <laughs> Oh, is it like right at the sky bar? At sky bar. Amazing. So getting home after a couple drinks will be no problem. Oh, it's so cute. Look at all these flowers. So nice. So we can just like go get drinks and then just like hop over to come home. I'm sure they're, they'll be fine with that. <laughs> all right, where are we going? What are we doing first? We are going to the farmer's market. I haven't been to a farmer's market since before the pandemic. Oh, I think there's a gay couple out there. I really hope they're a gay couple. Okay, great, let's go over late. Okay. Wow, you look ready. Oh my You are excited. What is wrong with your legs? Uh, I had leg day like three days ago. It feels like both of my legs are broken. Right. It's honest. honest. We get it, we get it. Let's go, come on. Ah. Look at all this market. Oh my god. I haven't been to the Eugene market in, Ever? in years. Oh, in years. Yeah, it's so it fun. Busy. Nothing beats the Eugene Saturday market. <laughs> Afghan shish kebab, shish kebab. And it has like beef, potato, this delicious roll. It doesn't look very delicious right now, but it looked a little bit better when I first got it. It's kind of like a stew. Nice. I like it. Is this your writing? Yeah! Oh my gosh, you wrote these? Yeah! <laughs> are these your illustrations too? They are! Digital collages! I'm a little bit obsessed with this. This is my most popular work. How long ago did you start writing? Uh, 11 years ago. Oh my god. Do you do this full time? Yeah, this is pretty much full time now. That's yeah. amazing. And your name is Sage? Liskey. Sage Liskey. Thank you, Sage. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Julia. Hi, Julia. I make things out of recycled materials. You made all these? I did. Oh my god. Corn husks, sheet music, t shirts, bed sheets, blue jeans. Oh my god, they're the beautiful. Saturday market newsletters. And you made these cards? I did. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Julia. Nice meeting you. Bye. 
Let me get you some flowers. Oh, you can bring me flowers. Look mm -hmm. at all, there's so many honeybees on them. Pollinators. Mm. That's funny. They're called straight people. <laughs> They're called breeders. And pollinators. Pollinators. <laughs> the flower guy's cute. No, he's not. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought a little bit. Mm. That's like a little, no. it's like the tiniest bit. No. He's probably a pollinator. Probably. Probably. Uh, don't see no pollinators. Don't match them big blue eyes. Maybe it must be. All right, acoustic right. trumpet. Marcella, and what do you make? Here you have a chimichurri. Ooh. The chimichurri is a raw sauce. And over there you have a hot sauce. Oh, it's delicious. Amazing. So you have something spicy and something <laughs> not spicy. How long have you made hot sauces and spices? Well, we start to make the hot sauce last year. <gasps> Amazing. And this year we start selling the chimichurri here at the I Macy's. love it. Great. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you cannot walk by an empanada and not try it. It's so crispy. Be careful. I'm all by it. It's very hot. Mm. Spicy. High crust. So good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Hi, I'm Luca. Hi, Luca. Um, what do you do? What, what's a stand? We make kombucha and oh, we sell God. kombucha. Look at all the kombucha. Do you actually make it? I do, yeah. Brewed it earlier this week. How long have you brewed kombucha for? I've been brewing it for about two months. Oh, no. I just got oh, raised nice. to that position. Sweet. Okay. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I got the mango. Ooh, let's go try it. No, you're right. Michael's no. leaving his credit card. I was like, like oh, someone's probably waiting. It's okay. We got distracted. <laughs> Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Seven. So smooth. It's like, it's not like too punchy or bitey or... Oh, that is really smooth. Yeah, it's, it's just not really punchy. smooth. It's not punchy it's not like other sweet. kombucha, you know? Yeah. Dang, that's really good. I love it. You know how to do it. I love it. So that was fun. Um, we just wanted to ask people why they're at the farmer's market and what they do. Wasn't that fun, Michael? That was so much fun. That was so much fun. fun. We love the farmer's market. Look at us doing things. Look at us. Oh my God, what are we doing? So not only are we taking a little vacation this weekend, but we also have a little bit of work to do. Me, nursing homework, and Michael, dentistry things. I honestly, I just want, I just want Rosé. And I just wanna look at this view, but we're gonna do that while we do things on our computers too. Cause we're millennials. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Cheers. Rosé and work. I could do this. <laughs> Cut away to the segue. I just wanted to give a little background on Iris Vineyards. So Iris Vineyards was founded by the Eugene native duo Pamela and Richard in order to savor some of the best Willamette Valley flavors in wine. Upon learning that the vineyards operations had been negatively affected by the pandemic, Hyatt Place Eugene offered its space in order to help the winery maintain revenue. Together they created a package that's perfect for the wine lover that includes a winery tour as well as a tasting. If you want to learn more about this collaboration, I put a bunch of details in the description below. Where have we found ourselves? Back at the hotel. The hotel actually has a lot of restaurants and stuff around it. The Thai restaurant, is that where we decided yeah, to go? Yeah, I think so. It came on recommendation from a friend of his. So we're gonna go there, check it out. So the Thai restaurant has a little bit of a wait. So we put our names in. But look how cute this little like mall area is outside the hotel. We've got all sorts of Walking stuff. distance. Mexican place, a sushi place, a pottery barn. I love D.F. Chang's and pottery barn. A little juice we know that. bar. Maybe we should just cancel our reservation and just eat chocolate all night. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad to me. Should we just, just, let's just get a bunch of chocolate. Yeah, I'll call them and cancel. Yeah, cancel. We just need chocolate, chocolate and wine, mm -hmm. that's all. It looks mighty yummy. It looks really good. Also, ginger and rye. So good. Your ginger and rye drink is really good. Are you coming? What? Are you, are you gonna go hiking? Go have fun. No? Just me? But look, it's mm -hmm. so pretty. Yogi! I just wanna stay here and drink my coffee. Yeah, I know. Actually, it's not that good. Let's go. We're almost to the top. Think so? From the top. Make it drop. That's the way. That's the way. That's... That's the wop. That's the wop. 
whatever. Now from the top, make it top. I'm not doing it, it's not. Getting all the content. All of it. Wow, good job. I know, I'm pretty good. Did you make a new friend? <laughs> I did. I don't know how close we want to be though. You are quite a lot. He's so friendly. Look. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey. Okay. Bye. Great job, you did it. So proud of you. Oh, you're a little bit. I deserve an award. You deserve an award. <laughs> that was so a really good hike. Say. I'd say. Do it if you're in Eugene. It took like 80 minutes. It was fast. Yeah, it was fast. Cool views. Not bad. Not bad. One of the best things about Eugene, Oregon is that you're only an hour drive away from Matthew's parents. Yay! They're the main attraction here. <laughs> Who is taking us out to dinner and I heard Bob is full of money. <laughs> He's gonna pay this time, I'm sure. Oh yes, he is. <laughs> Are you ready for your dinner experience? <laughs> yeah. Trebian. 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 Where are we going? Trebian. Je suis. I can't remember what go is. Are we speaking French now? Un marché oui. restaurante. Oui, oui. Oh, there you go. You need to stop accusing me of things. Do you, is your right shoe, does it feel slightly looser than your left? You want 100% mixed up. No. One of mine and one of yours. Just because you're copying me with your shoes, and now you're trying to blame me. They sent them to me. Uh-uh. I'm pretty sure both of our names are on it. Michael oh. thinks that I'm wearing one of his shoes, and he keeps complaining that one of his shoes is too tight. The right one. <laughs> We shall see. We shall see. Wait, 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 wait. I know how to solve this. Just put the shoes together. Does one look bigger? Yes. <laughs> no. Oh no, I think it's true. Oh god. Okay, fine. Give me your right shoe. This is the worst. I can't believe it. Yep. Okay, this one's mine. <laughs> you probably stretched it out. You so mean. Stole my shoe. You stretched mine out. I told you that you just pinched it really, really tight and said, oh, this one's mine. <sighs> Stop stealing my shoes. Hey, look what we got to eat. So we're at a French restaurant and we got butter, cream, uh -huh. and wine. Mine's out right now, I'm full. Uh -huh. So what'd you get, Michael? A chocolate sundae. So you're having Ooh. dinner. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Morning. Morning. Where are we going? First breakfast, then a vineyard called Iris Vineyards, which is like 30 minutes south of here. Yeah. We're gonna get some wine. Day. We're gonna get some lunch. And now we're gonna eat some breakfast. It's gonna be so good. But first, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We made it! We made it! Dead. I think, I don't know. After driving to the wrong address, we are finally ready for wine. We are so ready for wine. We drove like an hour, completely an hour. to the wrong place, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just don't double check the address. And that's okay, because we're you here know. now. Let's go inside. Hello. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Oh, this looks great. <laughs> Thank you. One thing about a little bit older barrel like this and a big punch in is that it'll tend to soften the wine but not impart the oak flavors and the tannic acids that you get from oak. So it's a softer, more pleasant, elegant wine. Put my mouth so, that, under it. <laughs> so that's called a wine thief. It looks like it belongs at a college party. Quiche with her wine. I'm yes. excited. It's a good day. I'm excited about it's everything. a good day. What do you think of the Pinot? <laughs> I absolutely love it. We had it in our hotel room, but like paired with food, it's like 
and especially mm -hmm. this quiche. <laughs> yeah, we have the, the best quiche maker. Best in quiche Oregon. maker in Oregon, right here. <laughs> He's made five different quiches. He did. He made it's five. Actually, pretty incredible. Uh, just smell it. It smells like dessert. It's it sort of so like, good. Uh, I, I get like wet leather and tobacco mainly in this one. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, when you're when you're drinking wine, it, it's like whatever the hell it reminds you. Of. Right. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 like it doesn't have to be anything in particular or some special words that you can only use for wine. You can be like. God, it reminds me of my grandma's soup, you know? I mean, like, it's like it doesn't really matter because you're just relating it to something else in your psyche that you've consumed or experienced in the past. Okay, we had such a good time at Iris Vineyards. Didn't want to leave. Never. Needed more quiche. Needed more port wine. What a great time in Eugene. I wouldn't expect it. Any trip that ends in like a vineyard or winery is always a plus. So that was a great time. We're super excited to be going to Nashville in a couple weeks uh, with Hyatt as well. So maybe there will be a video Hopefully there. That. Hopefully they have wine. We'll Nashville, you better have some wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone so much for watching uh, and joining us for this little staycation. Yeah. It's a good time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you later. Bye. Deuces. Bye. Bye. Yeah, everybody!